Hello, welcome back to the test line. Walter Futi once more back on the channel. It's been more than six months in our post. I apologize, but for you too. But I just want to mention um, something here. I appreciate the guys who have been supporting, who have been encouraging me to come back. People have been asking me about the content, my support, encouragement. Uh, so I'm only, only doing this because a lot of you guys have shown what I enjoy content, what I talk about in terms of football, uh, what I contribute to the game, and what the channel has done and has created an engagement. Namanya my channels, a lot of guys, special mention to uh, Costa Nation Fan TV Umbilo. It's one of the guys who's pushing me as well to so come back and keep on uh, dropping some nice content. So before I do anything, I just wanna uh, say thank you. Nyabonga. Uh, let's do it, let's go. Uh, it's been six months, Marang Buile dropping new content. <clears throat> and before I do anything, as always, it's gonna say subscribe, click on the subscribe button. Don't forget to share and like the video on all social media platforms. I'm available on Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, even. So let's have the conversation. Big weekend, uh, yesterday, big, big, big weekend. I don't know where to start, but as you know, we cover the big three. So, Nzokala. With the first big upset, it was a Carling Cup knockout for the whole weekend. And a big upset. Top two are through to the quarterfinals, which we won't wait for a later game today. Pirates, my favorite two. Pirates people probably love to go back to Vogue. But I'm going my highlights. But I'm going my highlights. Um... Just to talk about the game, uh, I won't go into a lineup cool, but I just want to talk about the game holistically because we have a lot to talk about, and it's cuts us now. Look, um, for me, in the Baye Pirates, ne, in Zima, because this was an easy game. Out of all the fixtures that you would get in a cup competition, especially having the title of Cup Kings, winning MTN 8 back to back. They, they were the outmost free, uh, favorites, to be fair. Uh, apart from Mobile Sundowns and Stellenbosch, Paris these days, and come to come to uh, cup competitions, they never lose. So, um, him, them getting such a good fixture where Marquez is a new team, just promoted. Players mostly are not really big name players. Ongla Bosichota, even if they have one or two um, season campaigners with PSL. So, it, it was supposed to be an easy game. High score uh, game on their side, but football being football, it's always a football lesson for everyone who never undermine your opponent. You always have to make sure that you win every game. But now it got me thinking: Is this a window to tell us that most of the discussions we've been having, I've been telling you guys that good league is more important, where you need to be able to make sure that you can beat everyone. So. Uh, I've seen comments about, but maybe it's a blessing in disguise because now they can focus on other competitions because they're involved in a lot. They have CAF, they have the league, they have NetBank, and and they have they've already won MT8. I think there's only uh, there's another camp competition that we still need to play. So with that in mind, you know, among you know the 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 management of the squad becomes more easier because they have less competition to compete in. But uh, not really. Not really when you want to be a top team or when you say you are a big team. Big teams challenge for everything. There was a bad, bad outing on their side. To be fair, they didn't have a bad game. It's just that they kind of allowed Marquesi to play at certain times. I mean, I saw Uba Nchima Madari. I will just put his name for the sake of our conversation. Most of the time, he was holding up playable Cezanne. They were made to feel like... Um, uh, Martin, they, they were not themselves. You know, they made you feel like they missed Abonda because both him and Usbisi, that guy was running through the park there. And him holding play and allowing this team to be brave enough to see if they can actually commit players forward, I think it actually opened up and they were able to create opportunities and they took whatever they created. I mean, that's, that's the, the, the biggest talking point. They, they didn't create enough, but whatever they created, they scored. And after that, Pirates woke up. Obviously, tactically, the coach made a few changes. And as you would know, Pirates started ticking and playing, but it was already too late. It's hard. Look, 
uh, any team, even a Sundown team, if they have to come back to a train, it, it would be impossible. And the comeback was almost complete, but officiating was 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 superb uh, this weekend. I think we always bash them, we always make them trend, but the the linesman and the ref got most of uh, the um, the decisions right, offside, whether it's not an offside, but spot on. We watched a very 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 clean game this time. And it was a football game, you know, because obviously the big team, most they get the decisions for them. But in this case, um, it was an honest game and they only have themselves to blame. I think from, I don't know if it's, they were still celebrating uh, from uh, the m and final, but it kind of seems that they're still cloud nine and they didn't bring that hunger that they showed in, in cup competitions. So sorry to them. I'll leave it at that. Pirates are out of the Carling Cup knockout uh, competition. We only have Sundowns, Chiefs, Stellenbosch, I think Captain City won yesterday. Uh, which we'll see who's going to be playing who by today. So it's a Sunday. I'm actually shooting this on a Sunday. So we'll only know by today. Hopefully when this drops, we would have known the Chiefs and Sundowns who are they going to play against. Moving on to Sundowns. It's becoming boring. I won't even talk about that game. I, I, for me, for the sake of um, this video, because I want to keep it as short as possible, I won't um, talk about it. But I will say this like, about arrows. Uh, for me, I would hate to use words like Ukanyeza is lazy. I don't know what's happening in the team. They're very inconsistent. At one point, they look like a team that you could really struggle to play against because they played a Beautiful game against Stellan Bosch. And Stellan Bosch is beating Sundowns home and away. Twice! So you think with the Arrows, they've turned the corner. They've played ahead. They are familiar with the coach Bangoba. They are familiar with the coach Steve. They would have learned enough from them. I mean, even the score to have them being behind in 20 minutes, that, that, that says a lot about the Arrows. And it's a cup competition. You can't play it like a league. There's no draw. There's no use. They were sitting back most of the time. So, since Asia, like what, what, what can we learn from a game like that? And say, look, these guys were not there to compete. I feel like they, they were too safe. It's not the kind of arrows that we know. Baba Fanabes Tende, who knocked the ball and who make it difficult. So, that fixture was supposed to be a very, very interesting fixture because they know how to play the passing game. They know how to press it sometimes. It's basically uncomfortably. So, sometimes they need to work hard. To really, really win that game. But they didn't. It was an easy game. Tashir Matthews had a wonderful game. Um, Amasita, even, they broke the line very well. Very easy. Defensive, which is like butter. Like knife through butter. And look, Santos being Santos, they're very dominant. Passing the ball. Amas Pace is wabo. Uh, they, they, they know where to go. The, those players sometimes don't feel like they need, for me, they need any coaching. Whichever lineup, whether it's Mokwena, I thought it was Mabue. There was a rather good there. So there and there and there, there, there and there, it's 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 a it's a, it's a, it's a clear sundown setup or a system playing against any other team in the world, and they would create enough chances to score because the players they have a big personalities. Um, they wouldn't uh, need a second invitation just to not bury those chances. Very very good chances. So it was a good good game from their side. There's some things becomes a boring and predictable because we know how they're going to set up. We know what, where they're looking to create chances. We know who they're looking for, what they're looking for. I see one point I would mention that I saw they tried to contain Romero in the first few couple of minutes because they were kicking him a lot. Seems, seems like he was man marked. But sometimes is enough quality to deal with any club in the DSTV Premiership, not alone in Africa. Arrows, I'm very disappointed. Technical team, Arrows. Mabuti Kanyes, I go back to the drum board. I am very disappointed in how they apply themselves. So I'll leave it at that. Guys, if you have any comments, if you disagree or agree with my comments, please don't forget to leave your comments there. Let's have the conversation. Let's push it. And yeah, so it helps to generate the video which you recommended to other football lovers like yourself. The last um, team, Enzo Kulmangayo, is our my only team. Um, look, we are good there. Uh, we are good in a sense where it, it, it's a project. You know, we have a new technical team, obviously a new approach, a couple of new players, but we haven't really uh, signed enough. But we have identified a few areas that we of concern. 
that could allow us to at least, you know, have a, a bit of indifference. You know, we know we're not in a, 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 a time where we have coaches where their decisions are questionable. We still have reservations about our captain and um, selection in the Aranjal. But we're using a lot of young players. We're using a lot of speed. Um, application in the game is it's, it's, it's really pleasing on the eye. It's enjoyable this season to, to see Kaiser Chiefs play. We can't wait for a, 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 the next fixture. You know, you, you, you watch highlights and you'll enjoy the solo passing lines that you, you are sort of agree with. You can see that there's improvements from the last couple of seasons that we've been watching. So Unabi, he like he always says, Guma presses out, he's cooking and he's, 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 he's really giving everyone a chance. But what I what's commendable is he bring a lot of young players a chance. Uh, Serino is a very, very important player for us. My only worry is if he doesn't play, he's not on form. Who's going to unlock a, a, a lot of uh, um, of these clubs? Because we, consistently we need to make sure that we protect him. He's a bit older, so we need to be able to rely on someone else. So second half, key key points or key key players I will talk about for this video: Zwane, uh, Miguel, uh, Serena, obviously. Because in each and every department, there is a player that allows the the, the team to play. And we're playing with departments, so in that defense, we're very solid. You, there's, there's almost there's no mistakes. Uh, you can tell that we are a solid team from each and every department. So there is each and every player, an experienced player, who's allowing us to 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 be able to play as a team. Super Sport kind of made it difficult for us in the first 30, 30 minutes, where they they tried to press high, they tried to make it difficult for Humar. Zwane was able to come out of those uh, uh, pressing traps at times and making less mistakes and he was come on the ball at times it was very quick to understand that if you have been pressed release the ball quick so you can allow us to have less pressure so we don't concede silly goals we almost conceded two goals i counted three missed uh, uh um, i think the three chances that were lost for mumart so they knew that they would get something from them but uh after then um i think serino brought us back in i think there was just that build up from the back it was very quick in transition but I don't think it's only transition. I think we we, we know how to uh, counter attack because if we're not looking for transition football alone, we want to play. We want to invite the these guys. But obviously, for each and every game, uh, it was a tactical game from Super Sport. So when you see those kind of things and we plan for each and every game, you kind of liked the way we were able to have a plan A and a B. So we play differently from each and every game. How we apply. But we still play with speed and with a lot of quickness, which is obviously international standards. You want to go to the other, other uh, opponents, opponent, uh, 18 air on goals as quick as possible. And these these guys, I mean, one did do fantastic to watch. Do Shabalala, the guys are putting on a good shift. And Luzwane, if he gives us these consistent performances in the middle, I'm telling you, going to be a very difficult um, 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 club or a team to beat. Just leave it there. Um, like I said, please uh, support the line, support my channel. It's very young, it's so cool about it. So we're gonna be dropping a lot of content. I'm back. And <clears throat> just a special mention, Shiva Viro, Yegela is social media. It's our job to criticize, it's our job as fans to push you to, to do better. That chance you should have taken it. And like you scored. So there's no reason for that kind of celebration. And just one more thing, what's important about today's fixtures, even though it's not men worth mentioning, Richards Bay, Chipper United, um, TX Galaxy, uh, are playing. So that, those fixtures are important because we need to know if you are going to stay unseeded or you're going to be seeded. Why I'm mentioning this is, if Richards Bay and Chipper United win today, you're going to be a seeded team, so we get an opportunity to play with lesser competitive opponents, if we stay unseeded, Sundowns, Sukuku in a Cape Town City, and um, I think one seeded team, Sukuku, we might play against those. So it's very interesting. Let's keep an eye on those things. See you on the next video. Uh, this is Walter signing off.